What's up y'all, it's your girl T and I am back with another video, a long overdue video. And uh, first let me just start out by saying, don't mind me, your girl have been working really, really hard. Um, I haven't even had time to put my wig on, but um, yeah, before we get started, if you're new here, then welcome. If you're not, then welcome back. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I make a new post. And guess what, y'all? I have decided that I am going to do... I can't believe I'm about to say this. <laughs> but I've decided that I wanted to participate in... A yes. Now, I already know I'm a little late. It's December 2nd. However, I still want to go ahead and try to participate and get lots of different vlogs, videos out. Um, about you know just my everyday life everything day things that I do with my business mainly um, I'm trying to finish up Black Friday orders and um, yeah anyways let's just get right into it okay so y'all might be seeing this bonnet quite a bit in um, the vlogmas videos because um this is just reality it's not always that i'm gonna be all makeup up wig on while working because if you don't know by now i am strictly a wig maker and i work from home so i'm home most of the time i don't really get dressed but i'm gonna try to get dressed for y'all uh so yeah just during our vlogmas I think I want to do a couple videos about, of course, I may do a few few giveaways, but I want to just vlog like, I don't know, real life. This, this is going to be my type of vlogmas now. It's no script to it. And like I said, this is very last minute. So I really don't even know what all the videos that I'm going to do, but I'm just thinking of some things that I want to do. Um, you know, of course, catch you guys up on a lot of business things that's been going on with me. Uh, but not only that, just um, me preparing for the next year, uh, doing inventory, um, giving you guys some story times. Let me see, what else? Just my everyday things. You know, as you know, I'm six months pregnant now, so we'll be going to the doctor. We'll be eating a lot. But um, yeah, just to show you guys that outside of being a wig maker, I'm also just tea and, uh, you know, I enjoy meeting some of you guys, you know, through like Instagram or YouTube. When you guys comment, you guys are like my friends now. So I'm really excited to just share another side of me and what I do. So you're going to learn a lot about me and hopefully I can be consistent as consistent. I'm going to try to be as consistent as I can be because this is hard. Like this YouTube stuff, I may have like started this year and like, got off the ground running but it's hot like the editing is to, child it's a whole nother thing and um oh y'all may have noticed i talk with my hands a lot but my nails are horrible <laughs> horrible we are gonna go get our nails done or my nails done on friday um yeah because this just this don't make no sense but like i said i've been working hard since black friday i haven't had time to really do anything like for myself pamper myself um just buy anything for myself or just anything so we're going to be doing a lot of different things i'm excited candle day is coming up we're gonna go and get some candles from bath and body works because i love candles and i'm gonna rack up on a lot of candles so we'll get into that but yeah so just to catch up with you or to catch you guys up with me and what's been going on you know black friday um was last week and i did have a successful black friday sale I'm currently completing the um, ready to ship orders, like making any alterations on those orders. And um, next week I will start on my custom orders. I only took a few custom orders. So I'll be working on those next week, trying to get those out by Friday so that everybody can get their wig by Christmas. And then I'll be done. I'm not taking any more custom orders this year. I'm basically just going to start gearing up, planning and preparing and taking you guys on a journey on how to prepare for the next year, the first quarter of the year. Um, 
yeah so we got a lot of work to do still again this bonnet is actually um it's on my website it is a stylish style so i see bonnet has my little logo on the back and i mean hey this is just what it's gonna be but um yeah so i have right now i have to take a pit a couple of pictures of i think i have like two wigs over there i need to take some pictures of to send to customers and then i have to style this wig and add elastic band to a wig package a wig and yeah just basically do all of that hoping i can get all of this done by five o'clock because that's when i go and pick up my son and by the time i go and pick him up i usually don't have time or he don't he makes sure that i don't have any time in here because he likes his time and attention with mommy and that's fine because normally by that time my bag hurts and i'm just kind of trying to wind down and like just be a mom prepare dinner clean the kitchen if i haven't already like you know it's a lot however it is a lot but i'm still getting it done so if you don't have kids and you're not a wife yet um there's really no excuse i'm doing it you can definitely do it too uh not there's not always going to be um uh, i guess there's not always going to be just wins when it comes to your business there will be you will take a couple of losses which we will go over in at least one of the videos during vlogmas um about a couple of losses that i did take this um past month november but anyways just to catch you guys up because i didn't shoot a video i believe my last video i talked about those um let me see those non-slip wig grips that i received that were poorly constructed so i've been going in and kind of like adjusting those because i did get to tell you guys oh, oh my gosh y'all had some really 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 good ideas in the comments um and i did get to respond to everybody i'm so sorry but hey i was gonna let you know now i did decide to go ahead and add them into my black friday boxes for free so if, if anybody purchased a wig order i think it was over 300 dollars then they did receive a um non-slip wig grip as well i just kind of doctored it up a little bit i didn't leave it as is quite i cut it if it was uneven took out some of that extra looking thread and yeah i mean it's free hey so what you know how much complaining can someone do when they didn't pay for it right so they could either use it or they don't but like i said i use mine and i mean who cares what it looks like underneath the wig so that's what i did just to let you guys know that um oh i'll be getting a mannequin i think it comes friday i'll be getting a new girl mannequin i know i'm going to do her makeup i asked a poll on one of my instagram videos if you guys want me to do the makeup on her on my youtube channel and that's gonna be included in the vlog one. So girl, we're gonna do some makeup on a mannequin and I'm not at MUA at all, but I did my other two and they turned out really good. If you don't know what they look like, then you can go to my Instagram at Stylish Styles by T and check those out. But um, yeah, let me see what else. I think that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into some of the things that I'm going to be doing. So it's going to be me featuring my little belly. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. Because, so I had to take pictures of my wigs, right? And I take pictures of my wigs on my phone. But I'm also recording my YouTube video on my phone. So there is no way that you can see me take pictures on my phone. So I had to go ahead and take my pictures really quick. That's what I just got done doing. Um and this is a package we're going to just go ahead and package this up really quickly um trying to make sure you guys can see bring this camera down y'all might be moving just a little bit all right so anyways this is her order i had to change the part from a middle part to a side part so i did that i do like to I try not to comb the curls out too much, but these are the curls. I have a large um, wig net on it to protect the curls and to keep the curls like really bouncing, flowing during the shipment. If you're interested in long hair nets, because I know 
I know they are super duper hard to find. So I do sell them wholesale, the extra long hair nets that goes on your wigs and it could protect any style. So if you're interested in those, there will be a link down below and you can purchase yours at wholesale. Y'all, I may sound like I'm running out of breath. Sometimes I'll be coming from up or down the stairs. And um, yeah, when I be doing a lot, I still feel like I'm running out of breath. So um, I like to put my wig inside of my wig bag. These are my custom wig bags that I love, love, love so much. And unfortunately, I'm not sharing or selling the Vinza. I don't see many people using these bags. Anyways, so that's the wig. I put a thank you scratch off card. Every Black Friday order received the scratch off card. They have a chance to win. I think it's like a percentage off, free shipping, or something else. It's like three things, or it'll just say sorry. Try again. A wig care card, how to care for your wig. So these go inside the bag. Um, I do have a business card, and also for Black Friday, I gave everyone, I had these little cute little CR, what is what they called? CR codes, where you scan the code and it takes you directly to my Instagram or my website. So every order, a wig order, receive one of these. So, you know, say for example, they are um, wanting to share my information with someone and they have this on the keychain. They just say, I mean, hey, if you're already slaying my wigs, why not just go ahead and put this on your keychain? And when someone asks, when someone asks your hey your hair was cute who did it you can say some wig scan this code this is what different wig one so i'm just going to place the qr code inside of here she ordered a molding wrap so go in there with the molding wrap she also ordered a wax stick so the wax stick i don't put it all in the bag but i've been putting those in the bag and then i just put the wax stick um kind of secured that and that completes the packaging just make sure side part so that is done so this wig is done I just have to um package it up so the next I'll wait some water. I gotta get something to get it up. I thought I had a top. Hold on, you guys. Oh, I had a bottle of water on floor. Apparently, it was not close tight. Alright. Um, yeah, she gets one. So I'm gonna stick it in there. Alright. So back to this next order. They ordered a molding wrap. No, it looks like they ordered a, I need to look at that, an edge wrap, adjustable elastic band to go in their wig. So I have to add that because I did not put adjustable elastic bands. That was something you had to add because I do feel like um, enclosure wigs are not always needed. 
Um, they bought a nice little wood grip. Now, if they bought a nice little wood grip, they'll get the free one if it's over $300. But they will get a um, high quality wood grip because that's what they paid for. And then we, and it says, please cut the lace. So we're going to cut the lace for her. All right, we gotta cut her lace because I don't mind cutting lace on closure wigs if they request it, so. I'm going to cut this her lace, so let's, let's scoot up some. I'm almost back because this towel is right there, but I'm gonna scoot up some. All right, there we go. So, lace is off. I think this was a light brown lace, yeah, it was. It's hard to find transparent lace now, but light brown works fine too. And this is, this was a pre-made wig, so. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm just gonna wrap this baby back up. Ooh, it was a nice, Burgundy color. Let's see if I can fix this just a tad bit. I mean, customers have to know in the box it's going to get a tad bit uh, bunched up, but they may have to do just a little bit of flattening. This is a straight hair. All right, there we go. Back in the bag. to construct two wigs today that's it i think that's it on the agenda for today as far as working in the room wig making um and hopefully i can get them three boxes shipped out oh i do have a five gold wig marker order that i can fulfill real quick or quit with the orders that need to have the label it'll make it easy so five, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. All right, so I put my wig markers in this. This is five gold. And one, two, three, four, five. And I do add this thank you card. I don't put a QR code in this because I mean it's such a small purchase. And then their invoice will go in there and that'll be all going in this stuff. So. 
I'm gonna speed video up a little bit just to take some time away while we style this wig. So this wig is gonna have a, I think a right or left side part and it's gonna be straight. I'm just gonna straighten it and then we'll cut it into bobs. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. All right, y'all, so before we get started, fun fact about me, I do like to snack on something. <laughs> Probably because I'm just pregnant now, but I like to snack on something. And today my snack is gonna be grapes. I really crave watermelon. I have a whole watermelon down there, but I didn't feel like cutting it up. So I went with the first and easiest thing, which was grapes, which is healthy, right? So anyways, I only like my grapes if they are on the vine like this. I like to pick them off myself and eat. If there's any grape that's not on the vine, then I don't want it, it goes in the trash. I know that is so weird. But yeah, unless it fell off like while I was washing it, like this one, I'll go ahead and eat, it has to be hard. But the ones in the bag that are just lingering at the bottom, those go in the trash. Very weird, right? I think I'm gonna freeze some grapes because I heard that frozen grapes are good. But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna be munching on my grapes while getting to this wig. So yeah, anyways, keep watching. Okay, y'all, so I just finished flat ironing this wig, and now we are going to cut it. This is a long bob. It's definitely not cut, but we're going to cut it. I think we're doing a asymmetric, so one side, the bang side will be longer, and this side will be shorter. So we're going to do that, add a little bit of baby hairs, and boom. Now, um, I'm probably gonna speed this up or cut this part out because I do have a tutorial on cutting a bob. So if you're interested in that, then you can check out the link below. I'll link it below or um, just visit my website and it's under learning mini tutorials and it is a full tutorial, detailed beginner friendly tutorial showing you how to cut All right, y'all, so I just finished this wig. I'm going to do one more. I need to see what time it is. So I'm just cutting out the excess thread. And we're going to go ahead and cut the lace out. Now, one thing about me is like, I won't style this wig, customize this wig. If it need to be cut, I wouldn't do none that day. Today will be construction only on all the wigs. Like tomorrow, I'll probably do a little bit of um, coloring or styling. But the wig, construction is done. That's like the meat of it. So the meat is done. Anything else is just extra. And we'll get this baby into a nice style but yeah so this one's done and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one i do like to put my lace on first so that's what i am doing and i don't know why but i always just go ahead and cut that cut that because it just gives it a little bit of stretch my tags are already inside and we're ready to sew Lord knows I need to do his hair today. Maybe I'll do that. 
He's been rocking a ponytail hell for the last three days. But, um, I've been tired, y'all. I've been so tired. You want mommy to do your hair? Hmm? <laughs> what you doing? It's zebra. Z is zebra. Good job. Y'all, I'm gonna be bringing his head today. I don't feel like it. Oh my goodness. I just bought them letters for him today. This morning. And um, yeah, they're probably not going to last. So I'm going to put YouTube on. Ugh. I told y'all, riding this time, round five. Mm. Okay, y'all. So I thought my manicure was coming on Friday, but. It came today. Good oh, Lord. Come on, I already know it. Goodness. I want to see what it looks like. Mm. I'm not going to do her makeup until probably next week. But it'll be on the vlog, that's for sure. But let's see. She's supposed to look different. Oh, look at that. Um, okay, she does look different. See, that's what I want. I want to make sure that I'm getting like different. Of course, I'm going to change her skin collection, but. What's the problem is she don't have that little hard net on. She left that net, but that's okay. So this was the L7. Child, she got green eyes. Uh, I think I like her better. Her eyes, you can see her eyes. She look like more, I don't know. But anyways, y'all, we're gonna do her makeup. Um. One of these days, yeah, we're gonna change out her lashes. And she got nice little lips. And we're gonna make her brown. So y'all stay tuned for that. But she do look good, so let's protect these eyes and his nose and stick her back in it. Because I got too much other stuff to do. I'm gonna be trying to do this right now. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to prepare dinner. It's six o'clock. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna cook something quick because I'm not the cook in, in our marriage. I clean up, I gotta wash dishes too. The dishes up there. Um, I'm gonna try and cook and clean at the same time because when I'm done eating and I'm full, you already know I'm gonna be sitting down probably editing this video so it can be uploaded but um i'm gonna cut some asparagus steak and potatoes and yeah probably a hawaiian roll and call it a night i'm gonna cut up my watermelon and yeah i'm just gonna speed this up and just show you guys this is what i have to do after hours so work isn't done <laughs> Okay guys, so this lighting is horrible, but I'm finally able to sit down. I'm about to take my bra off and just relax and edit this video. So I'm gonna conclude this first Vlogmas of many. <laughs> I gotta do this shit again tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> but it's cool. Um, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, y'all.